and we should be going live right now. Hello and welcome to Path of Exile and Necropolis League. I'm going to type in the chat here. Welcome. There we go. It should be live. And this is, uh, we just hit maps with our Cyclone of Tumult Slayer. And I've been doing a build guide that's extremely detailed and it's level by level. And we just hit maps. Now, the thing is, I've already hit maps in my um, on my other guy in this league. So we just hit maps, but all this has already been exposed and already completed. So um, there's quite a bit. We also have gear from our other guy. So I took my other gear just to make it more, uh, uh, more enjoyable and a little bit smoother. But the gear I had on is right here. And it's very, very comparable. Uh, well, somewhat comparable. Um, I would say this is probably about 40% stronger, but um, maybe 30 to 40% stronger. 30% um, because I don't have a, these set up correctly, um, but I'm in good shape. So about 30%, we'll call it. And I wanted to actually use these, so we're going to actually do this. Um, let's put, this is really hard to get some good rolls on that. Uh, see chaos damage 10 percent of cold damage taken recouped as life all right we'll just put that on there and then this one will roll something on here let's see what we get chaos resistance uh, why not and we'll leave it on there okay so let's uh buff up get ready and we're gonna get some um really really ridiculously good exp down in delve up to as much as 500 million. So we're at zero right now. We'll, we'll reset it and we'll dive on in there. And as far as the build guide goes, I'm still going to do more episodes. And then I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through how to uh, get gear like this. Um, this is a, what's the DPS? It's only 835. I think you should probably get that for maybe five divine, but you can get something like this for 50 to hundred chaos. You can get this for 30 chaos. Um, these cost a lot sometimes, probably up to a divine, and but they're important to get. But these aren't even very good ones. Um, I can get better. So um, let's just dive in and have some fun. Um, I was making lots and lots of episodes and getting them out really quickly, so I wanted to have some fun and enjoy things. I, I wasn't not, I wasn't, I was enjoying it before, but this is just pure blasting away, just having fun. So let's go in here. And see what we can do. Well, even, I, I don't know how deep we can go with this guy. He just hit maps. Let's find out. I'm going to reset the e EXP per hour. Turn on the map thing. And let's see what we can do. And we'll just knock out some of these. And we might... I'm hoping for 400 million EXP per hour. And no deaths. Well, easy. We're squishier than my other guy by far. Hey, welcome to the, uh, welcome to the stream. We just leveled up the uh, Cyclone of Tumult Slayer um, build guide series, and we just hit maps, and I wanted to do some quick leveling and then go back, and the future episodes will still have, um, what do you call it, all the uh, details on how to get from this to that. But basically, if you can come into, um, into Delve, you can get a lot of EXP. Um, maybe not this much on a brand new character, 597 million per, per hour. <laughs> and let's keep pushing and see how much we can get. Uh, we could just na knock out all of these. Let's do that. And we've got tons of uh, sulfite. Plenty to, plenty to have some fun with. Let's go down here and just crush this stuff. Nice. The AoE size is ridiculous. It's too big. It's a little concerning. <laughs> just huge. But it is nice when we... Um, Come to the, uh, let's grab that dynamite there. Just handy, it's sitting right there. Um, it is nice when we get to the node and we can just sit in the middle of it and hit, oh, easy there, I got took some damage, I didn't notice. We should be hitting a level pretty quickly here. Yeah, this is just pure blasting. Whereas before, oh my gosh, explaining everything in detail, it's, it's, uh, it's not easy. So I don't want to leave things out. I think there's a wall right there. Yep. And it's blown open. Resonators, I'll take them. Nice. Easy. Hidden loot, we'll leave all that and keep going. 
In fact, I'll probably transfer my wealth from my other character onto the, you know, back into the normal stash. And, because I was keeping everything separate up until this point. In fact, everything is still separate except for the, the gear. But that can be one step. What is that transmutation? What is that? I gotta look at that. Um, where? Oh, it's it's purple because I uh, messed with my uh, loot filter, and it's just defaulting to the that purplish red, pinkish color. I was like, orb of transmutation. Why is that that color? Yeah, let's see how much we uh, get here. Our defenses are really well uh, good. Our resists are nice. I think our chaos resistance is good. Hey, welcome to the stream. This is the guy that I, um, this is the build series, the step-by-step -step detailed guy, and this is a Cyclone Slayer versus Raider. The AOE size is ridiculous. And away we go. Let's see uh, how much EXP we're getting per hour now. 492, not bad. I was hoping for 400. Take all that, level all these up. And keep going. Whoa, easy there. Trying to get away. We'll take this one. Hey, welcome to the stream. And welcome to the stream. A couple people just come. More people are coming in. Cool. Just having fun. We did the uh, step by step build series, and this guy it just hit maps, and I'm just jumping into um, Dell because the EXP per hour is through the roof down here. It's um, over 500 million per hour. Well, we should be level 90 in no time. At least level 87, really quickly. Not that I need to be that, it's just it's just nice to have that. The EXP per hour down here would be easy. And away we go. I wonder what our uh, chaos resistance is. I think it was, I'm guessing about almost zero versus minus 60. We don't need too much chaos resistance down here. That's the nice thing about delves. Not too much. Once you get way deeper, you need it. But at these levels, you really can get away with almost none. Oddly enough. And we'll keep going. Delve is just nice for a lot and lots of EXP. And with those uh, off flames of Sulfite, um, you can get so much sulfite from maps now. Just one map, I can get 60,000 or more, 50, 70,000 um, or more sulfite. It's just really easy. And we'll keep going. What are we up to? 452, 452 million? Not bad. Oh, we got another level. <laughs> I was in here a couple levels ago probably two or three levels ago and it was just the exp bar was flying i was um like two or three levels deeper than this and just blowing everything up was great oh and we'll fire this off you can get so much e I, I think everybody should just get exp down here right when they hit right when they hit maps and then just try to push push as far as they can go it's just easier EXP than maps by far. But then I would say around 88, 89-ish, you're gonna wanna push into maps here themselves. Then it's just, because you gotta get that done anyways. And that's where, you know, depending on the strategy you wanna use. I like doing delves, but um, yeah, I like delves too. So it's, <laughs> it's, a little, uh, it's a little easier. Some people just hate it down here. Um, me, I don't mind it at all. And away we go. I hope everybody was liking the, uh, the series. There's a lot of people watching it and a lot of new people were watching it. It was designed specifically for people that were new to uh, Path of Exile and really needed everything. Whoa, easy, get out of there. Everything explained in detail. And I try to, but there's so much to this game. Like I couldn't explain betrayal to them. Um, I don't even think we got into heist yet. There's so much content, especially in the end game. It just expeditions. There's log books. There's so many things. Pretty amazing. And let's see if we can drop this down and level these up without dying. I have a vengeance that'll um, does splash damage and life gain on hit and leech. So if I'm sitting here and I take a couple of hits, it'll it'll start to save me a little bit. Um. Because sometimes you want to pause and click something, and then if you can at least get a few hits in with Vengeance, um, then 
there's a possibility that everything goes well. I gotta upgrade the vengeance to the quality level on that. Easy. God, this guy is just nuts over here. Look at that. Oof. This guy's tough. I don't want to deal with him. But I think I have to, because I don't I don't want to mess around with the portal. Let's flow. He is dangerous, but at 20%, we got him. Because we call everything and kill everything if it's 20% or less. Yeesh, that, oh, here's a triple. Let's do the triple. 422 million now. Yeah, that one slowed us down. EXP-wise, really easy. Yeah, I'm definitely squishier than my other character, but I'm like 15 or 16 levels less. The gear isn't as good as the my other guy, even though I took some of his gear. And I the build's so similar that I was able to just basically take it off, put it right on my, my guy, and away we went. And, oh, we'll take this and that. There we go. If anybody has a question, just go ahead and ask down below. Even in the archive version of this, I answer all the questions that I can. Nice. This is just relaxing down here, too. Hey, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, just let me know. Or if the volume's too loud or too soft. If it's too soft and you guys can't hear me, then uh, this question doesn't help. <laughs> it's, you couldn't hear me at all. <laughs> and away we go. Come on. Nice. And it was weird. I couldn't. I, I could stream, but I couldn't stream because I was making so many episodes. I wanted to get that whole series at least into into maps before I um, started streaming again. And this will be a nice comparison between a Slayer build and a Raider build. I'm guessing DPS wise, this is going to be a, a chunk more by by a lot. I haven't even done my fourth um, lab yet, so uh, we've still got to do that. And then I'm going to get even stronger. The crits are going to go through the roof. It's going to be nice. What is this? Uh, we'll take it and see later. And let's go deeper this way. 129 million per hour. And we should be able to get... What was it? Um, oh, I could use a trip. I'll, I'll spend that point down there too in a second. We'll get maybe... Not bleeds. Um, maybe the triple hit um, node in the passive tree, I don't know. On Path of Build Building, you can actually press a heat map button down on the bottom, and it will show you how, like, the nodes that you could take that will give you the most DPS, the most bang for your buck. Um, that triple node is okay, but I don't have too many nodes that are there. Hey, welcome to the stream. I don't have too many more nodes that are, like, really good, good, good DPS nodes. I took a lot of, um health ones. I'll probably take them back and then I'll tweak the build from there. Oh, here's a, uh, whatchamacallit guy. Uh, Soul Eater. Let's try to get away from him. And this way. Hey, welcome to the stream. And we were able to sell 120 of uh, alterations for 40 chaos multiple times during the, the level up process. Because I didn't use any of the, um, I didn't use any of the loot or gear from my other playthrough. This is the first time once we hit maps um, that I even that I even touched any other gear. I haven't touched the currency yet, but I probably should. You know, I was I was trying to emulate a, the new new player experience into maps, and now we're you know it, once you get into maps, you're just building up your currency, buying the things slowly one by one, but even with the other gear that I had on that I had from leveling it was completely fine I think I would probably just be a little bit uh, I would, instead of levels uh, monster level 79 I'd probably be at monster level 75 everything would be fine though nice and we'll level these up there's still a lot to, a lot of work to do on this one and let's see we'll go and target this stuff down here I like those triples. Oh. And let's see if we can actually... That, that should take care of him. Let's see. I wanted to spend this point. We'll do the triple. That one. Or we could do the 
60% increased damage with hits and attack a little bit slower. Let's try that one instead. I think the triple... 3% at triple damage is higher, but let's try that one with a little bit of reduced attack speed. We'll see what happens. I could path the building it and math it out and try to figure it out exactly, but it's nice having a, a little bit more upfront hit, even if we're swinging a little bit slower. Ooh, interesting. Easy. And let's see if we can take these guys out. And hey, welcome to the stream. It doesn't show me who who, who and which names are here, but um, it does show me that somebody pops in every time they enter. And let's keep going. We're getting 410 million EXP per hour. We're going to fly up through levels from like, what are we, level 78? We're going to hopefully hit 88 or 89 maybe very, very quickly. I'm just going to try to press ahead as, and just nab... 10, 12 le levels really quickly. Oh, some resonators. Nice. And... And I'm just taking a break from making episodes, so I decided to live stream this instead of making an episode out of it. Because it's just a bunch of, uh... A bunch of delves getting levels. It's pretty relaxing. I like it. And... Oh, this guy's a tough guy. There we go. I'll take those and those and those. And that's fine. Getting closer. And let's go grab that triple right over here. And keep going. Hey, welcome to the stream. Just having a good time. We just leveled this guy up. And he's a, a Cyclone the Tumult Slayer. I'll probably just take some health nodes there. Pretty easy build. Uh, the AOE is on this thing is just crazy. It almost covers the whole screen, and we could get it, make it a little bit bigger, but I don't, I don't think I need to at all. It's just, this is just silly. I can sit in the middle here and almost reach everything. Let's see. Pretty close. I wiggle a little bit. <laughs> That's it. It's really nice. And we're getting over 400 million EXP per hour down here, so we're, we're going to be able to fly up in levels. Let's see that thing chunk up there. And I'm going to be pushing deeper to keep the EXP per hour up. Nice. Done, done. And we'll take those and that and that and level these up. Keep going. Ooh, a triple. Let's do that. Oop. And I'm using Onslaught, an automatic Onslaught flask instead of the Onslaught helm that I had on my leveling. We don't get 2.3x onslaught permanently, but it's a really nice thing about um, Raider. But this one, we get the 20% calling. It's essentially essentially we have a uh, a seven link, a be a better seven link because sometimes you'd put um, calling strike on on your attacks, but this is automatically on there, and it's every attack. Hey, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions? Just let me know. This is a Cyclone of Tumult player. We just hit maps a second ago, and now I'm getting 400 plus million EXP per hour, and I will be flying up in levels. Pretty easy stuff. So if you ever hit maps and wanted to get a lot of EXP really easily, really fast, all I would suggest doing is getting, um, whoa, easy, easy, whatever that thing was, it was mean. I didn't like that. Um, Getting some of those all flames of sulfite, throw those in a map, and you'll get you'll be capped out on sulfite like I am. Um, and you can also get a ton of uh, azurite as well. And then I've got tons of carrying capacity, and just fly down in here, and it's super simple. Pretty cool stuff. And away we go. What are we up to EXP per... Oh, this is going to slow us down. And here he is. And at 20%, he should pop. Done. Nice. And... Oh, what are these guys? Little helpers there. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream. And... Let's go back here for a second. Refill. Although I don't really use any of these. I'm just, mess I'm just focusing on... Purely on... Uh, 
Uh, we'll grab some more health just for fun. We're going to redo that anyways. And I should dump this stuff off real quick. Let's dump it in here. And we'll look at it later. Nice. Cool. And more, more EXP. 416 million per hour. And let's see what we can get. Yeah, I'd like... Yeah, 500 million is nice, but... 400 is cool, but... 500 would be much better. We were doing that earlier with over 500 million, but then... Well, it gets harder and harder as you level up. We'll see. There's something on the ground over there. I'll leave it there. And... I'll put a torch down or a flare. And... Keep going. Oh, let's knock into here and see what's behind here. Uh, fundamental, I'll take them. Cool. And away we go. Wow, he's flying. Decent speed, not as good as the, um, the Raider. But... Close-ish. Oh, and I don't care about mana. We don't use any mana. Nice. Oh. And I can't. I gotta do, um... I can't do that trade. I should have put D&D &D on. I'll do that right as we get over here. I should have had Do Not Disturb on. Oh, this is actually a dangerous... A dangerous node. Oh, no. It's not the one. And Harbinger of Regency. Really? Harbinger Scared of Regency. Hmm. I'll have to read that one. I haven't seen that one very often. I'll take those. And those. And what is this? Harbingers in the area. 50% replaced by a powerful Harbinger. Interesting. We'll take that and that. We'll take those. And let's go back and fix this. There we go. And we want more EXP, so that those those notes are more EXP. And we're at 416. We're going to keep going. So I don't want to do trades while I'm doing this. And... Oh, there we go. So if, uh, if anybody's not played Delve, you can really get an idea of just the basics. I, um, I'm not going in, into any of the side rooms right now, or very few of them. Um, there's two strats. I'm just going after the, the AXP, so I'm just trying to fly up to this room, fight this big um, endless slew of monsters, and then you'll see the EXP jump at the once this event ends here. Drop a totem, pop these guys down. At 20%, they pop, done. And it pops up in more, and we're about to hit another level. Nice. Hey, welcome to the stream. And I guess we'll take that and that. And we're at 428 million. It's going back up. Good. Ooh, there's a, a single, a double, and a triple. And this isn't bad EXP for hour, per hour for a, a solo player. I think it's really, actually, really good. Um... Ooh. I saw over a billion EXPR per hour right when I hit maps and I came in here and I, I tried a hard one, a couple of them, and I hit a billion EXP per hour. I was like, oh, but that, that, it doesn't last because, you know, the, the formula changes as you level up. But right now, not bad. Hey, welcome to the stream. We just hit, uh, hit maps and I wanted to grab a quick 10 levels down here, so we're getting... A ton of the EXP per hour, 429 million. And we should level up really quickly. We're about to hit 80. Not bad. It's just more, way more relaxing to level up down here. Uh, it goes really quickly versus uh, doing all the maps. But we still have to do maps, so everybody does. Well, if you want to do, you don't, I guess you technically don't have to. Um, because you can get the soft light up there really fast. In fact, you can get all the soft light, like 60, you can overcap yourself way over 65,000 just from one map now. With that change with the all flame site, uh, scythe, all flame of soft light. And then 
you get tons more azurite up there too, and you just you can just barrel through this stuff. I'm wondering if this might be like it probably is one of the fastest or the fastest ways to solo EXP now. It has to be. It'd be interesting to try it out. Um, I guess in a trade league, and then you'd have to buy, find any, and buy the um, the salt bite ones. I don't. Oh, that was a close call. I'm gonna get some more health. <laughs> that was close. I saw my health dip way down. And I haven't died for a while here. I haven't died on the stream yet. But that was close. <laughs> and yeah, we're not very. Oh, ooh, what's that? Scarab of doubling. Easy. Let's go take a look at the, what that is. I don't think I've seen that one, but it made us a, a special noise, so. And I guess we can just look at it right here. What is it? Scarab of doubling? Life force dropped by harvest is an area is duplicated. Harvest monsters in the areas have one or how much is this thing? Uh, 12 chaos. Not bad. It's something. And we're going to go this way and grab all these and work our way down here. We'll grab that one. Nice. And away we go. Come on, EXP per hour. Oop, I pushed the space bar, but I don't have my sprint potion anymore. There, it'll... I still have one on the, on the thing. You know what? I should swap that to over there just in case I want to manually use the, the sprint. I think that's on Q right now. I'll, I'll move it over. Oh, and this guy's right up here. We gotta hit this. And that. We'll drop a totem on that side. Come over here. Hit this one. And that one. And we'll get the flare just in case. Hey, welcome to the stream. This is the uh, build guide. This is the guy from the build guide that I did. The Slayer versus the Raider. And we just hit maps, so I'm grabbing a bunch of um a bunch of EXP, 428 million per hour. Nice. And we'll grab some more health real quick, but we can always back out of that. Nice. Just to make it easier. Easy stuff. And I'll leave that there. And just keep moving. I'm just trying to get as much EXP per hour. I'm doing pretty well, but I could, could be doing better. Not bad at all, though. We've been flying through the levels in this. One death will be a not fun setback, but I haven't had one yet. And the AoE is down here is nice. The, the 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 width of the AoE, the size of it, is pretty pretty cool. Works out really nice down here. And. How's the uh, voice level? I didn't I didn't get a chance to ask in the chat yet. Or the sound level. If it's too high or low, let me know. And hey, welcome to the stream. We just hit maps and we're doing uh, some we're grabbing ten quick levels down here. And it should go extremely fast because we're getting I'm guessing four hundred and thirty million per hour? Four twenty seven. Nice, nice, nice. Level and Grab that. Easy. There we go. Uh, if um, anybody gets a chance and they want easy, easy EXP, um, I think I think this is probably the easiest. Um, I don't know of any other. I don't even in maps. It's you got to set them up, and this is just click, go, click, go. Very little downtime. Uh, with the sulfite, all flame sulfites, you can get so much sulfite. I got, I filled up the whole thing, this 60,000 sulfite in one map now. So sulfite isn't holding you back. It's just easy. And I mean, I can sit in the middle and I'm just not even pushing any buttons. I'm just holding down spin. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> easy. <laughs> Can't be any easier than that. Well, maybe not, actually not pushing any buttons would be easier. Just standing there. There are some builds like that that can just stand there. Uh, no button press builds. And I guess we'll take that. And I'll take this one. 429. We're getting closer to 430 million. 
Come on. Nice. And this this build is heavily heavily focused on crits and big hits on the crits and just smashing stuff down. Uh, we get 40 life gain on hit from our um, from all our hits, and we do three hits per second on everything that's you know around us. So the life the stain, sustain is all there. Um, our Cyclone of Tumult costs zero mana to cast because of our two rings that do minus three each. Normally it would cost six mana, but this costs none. Oh, I don't like this guy here. Or this guy. And... So we don't have any mana, and our um, automation is all done on with life tap. So it, it uses this. It uses health instead. I guess we'll take that. And... 430 million net per hour now. Nice. Oh, I'm talking too much. I should uh, focus on this. And we'll level those up. And what else can we get? We'll go down that way, or... Yeah, I guess. Go over here and grab those two down there. And then we'll probably just push deeper and grab more um, Azurite nodes. Those are the, are the winners for EXP, and that's what we're after. So let's see if we can grab it. I wonder what our, uh, we click that, I wonder what our on paper DPS is. Oh, this is, this could be a dangerous spot here. No, it's not that dangerous. Almost 300k, probably more than that. Oof, that's just on paper. Um, with Path of Building, it's probably a lot, lot higher. With all the different configurations. Anything in here? No. We'll take these two. And that one too. Yeah, this guy just hit maps too. I did grab my gear from my other guy, so that made about a 30% increase in performance, but even without the gear, I was doing really well down here. It just made it a little more comfortable. Well, let's see what we got here. And away we go. Nice. This is nice and relaxing compared to mapping and all the um, campaign. You gotta run here, run there, think about everything. This is just easy mode. Drop a totem. I even, I even have Vengeance on a four link tied to Splash and... Splash and Life Gain on hit and Life Leech. So even if I kind of pause for a second, I'm still getting a little bit of safety there. We'll go over here. And I still have a spot on... What is that? Yeah, that... On my weapon, that lone green one. Hey, welcome to the stream. Um, that lone green gem, that doesn't do anything. I think I was just leveling it there. So this is by far not optimized in the least. We could be, we could be doing so much better. Probably three times better than this. Maybe four times? Probably four times. I'll say easily four times, actually. Maybe even five times? Ooh, this guy's tough. I don't have to worry about this thing, this because I don't use mana, so I can stand in it. It's just that guy can hit pretty hard. And we should be hitting another level right in, in a couple minutes. Nice. Hey, welcome to the stream. And... This is a Cyclone of Tumult Slayer build instead of the Raider build. Um, I, I did a whole series, step by step, super detailed for new players that just, you know, they don't know anything about the game. So I explained everything as I was leveling in detail. So it was like an hour per, um, an hour long per act, roughly, with a lot of detail. And people liked it. They were, they, there was a lot of new players players that commented that it really has helped them, so I'm glad. Oh, uh, let's see if we can move that. There. Now it's now it's in spacebar and I can manually use um, the sprint if I want to. But it's automated. All three of those are automated. I still need a fourth automated flask, but I don't feel comfortable only running with um, two health potions yet. Probably 
I probably can get away with just one. But I just hit map, so I was a little reluctant. And anything here? Explodes. Oh my gosh. I was like, anything here? <laughs> Explodes again, of course. Jeez. Then was it going to be explode again? Yep. Yikes. Jeez. Where's the other guy? Oh, there they are. Oh. Nice. We just hit a level. Very cool. That was intense. Oh, I don't have space. Uh, we'll go like that. And back here. Nice. And I'm just going to depot this real quick. Oh, that's an interesting flask. And away we go. All kinds of stuff, huh? Nice. And that one, and that one. And we go right back in. Oh, that was the uh, treasure chest area thing. Is there anything else we could get? Probably these. And that currency one? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Uh, oh, now we're at monster level 80. Not bad. I wonder what... Oh, I should have took that uh, passive point and spent it on probably health. I don't really need too many more points. I mean, I, I, I'm going to get another... 17, 18 points to spend? This is going to be ridiculous. And if I push to 100, oh boy. Oh, here's the thing. I ran right by it. I don't have to worry about lightning. I can't be ignited. I can't be stunned. I can't have any corrupted blood on me. It's all immune to... I'm immune to all that. I can't be uh, frozen or chilled or sapped or shocked. I love it. Immune to a lot. Whoa. You see there... So chaos damage. I'm immune to a lot, but not to everything. I'm working on it. <laughs> and let's see where we're going. Right over here. Uh, I'll take those. And away we go. Oh, I should have used the point. I keep forgetting that I have a point to spend there. And... Whoa! Are you guys playing this league or just checking it out? I've been playing a lot. I don't think I'm playing... Well, yeah, I'm playing as much as... So far, I've been playing as much as the Affliction League. Um, but the Affliction League, I played a ton. I had one guy that I spent probably 300 Divine on, it, on, the, on the gear. 200 to 300, I'm not sure. On just one guy's gear. And it was nice. A lot of fun. I play a lot of Cyclone. Ooh, and here's the node. And what is that? A fire guy? And oh, let's fire it up. And let's find out what we get. I wonder what EXP per hour we're at. I'm guessing 411 or 12. 412 million per hour. We'll know in one second. We have 13 flares and four dynamites on us, so we don't need anything else. And away we go. Come on, and at 20%, he gets called. Done. Nice. That is really... That's like a sneaky, cool thing with um, raiders. It's not that sneaky, but it's, it's, it's underrated, I'll say that. Um, let's spend that point. We'll just get some more life, just because I don't care about anything else right there. Done. And... Oh. 455 million? We're going up? We're going high. We could maybe push to... 8 or 500 million? Hmm. I think we probably could. If I push... Yeah, after these two nodes, I'll... Um, I'll go deeper and see if we can live and... Get the EXP per hour up to 500 million. I think we can do it. Definitely. Ooh, that'll be fun. Ooh. And riches. I'll take them. Come on, riches. Even this, um, I, I can look at my, um, what do you call it? My, uh, mana. I can put a whole nother, uh, um, aura on there. Ooh, a scarab of duplication. I'll take it. Oh, let's go grab those riches. Nice. 40 and 40. Nothing wrong with that. And, oh, hey, buddy. He's trying to get me. And we'll go right here. 
and we'll go deeper after this. Away we go. Oh boy. So this is just purely go fast. Come on. Wow, we are going fast. <laughs> and there was a, some flares or dynamite there. Nice. Grab this one off. We should be at another level in five, four or five minutes. Nice. I, I think I don't I think a lot of people are, are discounting how good EXP is down in Delve. I haven't found anything this this good up top at all. Uh, maybe oh with the with the new um, grind EXP buff thing that one is better. Um, but for now this is no investment. Just come down here and fly. I love it, and it's relaxing too. And I guess we'll go that way. Oh no 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 no. I don't want to go that way. I want to go deeper. Um, let's do two things. Let's drop everything off and dump that in there. Interesting. What is that? Um, no, actually, we've already used. I think we had one of those on earlier. Hey, welcome to the stream. And let's see if we can go. Is there a way? Oh, yeah, we can go a lot deeper here. There's 81. We could go down to... Let's go here and we'll grab those gems. Let's do that. Let's see what we can do here. What we, what we can pull off. 81, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, we're 80, 81 as well, but still, it's a little weird to be 81 at, in monster level 81. It's usually not normal. Oh, easy. Easy. <laughs> Guy hit hard right there. We should be able to do this, no problem. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done this at this close to a level, though. If I die, I'll, it'll be a setback of like four minutes or three, maybe two minutes. Easy. Yikes. Holy cow. Those, uh, I can't get shocked, so that's a big thing with, with the dynamite stuff, or the, not dynamite, the um, electricity. Even the pylons, they don't really bother me. Whereas on other characters, if I don't have... Uh, Shock immunity, those things are painful. And numeric lockbox. I wonder what that's all about. Let's see. Oh, not murmuring, not numeric. I was like numeric. And we'll grab this one. And away we go. This is nice. Oh, I'll take the forgotten wealth. Somebody forgot it here. Oh, it wasn't any good. There was something there, but whatever it was was low value and didn't make it past the loot filter. And probably a mirror. Low value mirror. <laughs> and I do like it in solo self on when uh easy. Um, if you find something like a, a divine or something and you're, it's early on, you can swap, uh, you can mule it over to your, um, trade league and then use it for, you know, whatever you want. Find a couple divine in there. You're not get really going to use it to reroll the, uh, the stats on our, on an item or do any like super meta, uh, crafting from the bench. So I just mule them over and they help on my other characters. Whereas if it was stuck there, it would... It would be not as fun. It's nice. And what are we going to be up to EXP-wise when this pops? We're two bars away. And now we're one bar away. And I'm going to guess 465? 453. Eugh. 453. Hey, welcome to the stream and welcome to the stream. Doing 453 million EXP per hour at 81 on this guy. And we're just flying up in levels really quickly and I'm just trying to grab a bunch of levels and then I'll go back uh, because I've been making a bunch of episodes with this guy a uh, very super detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to make a cyclone stick slayer for people that are brand new to the game 
Um, veterans are like, yeah, I know that they know 95 to 98 percent of what I, what I was, was. Oh, let me just hit another level. But um, new people, they, you know, there's so much to this game, and it really helps them. And they were saying that in the, in the comments and the chats too, so it's good. I'm happy. I'll leave that there. Don't even care. But look at this guy. He's just just following us. Let's take care of him. Soul Eater going crazy over here. At 20%, he's going to pop. Done. I love that calling. That's a big thing. I think that's one of my favorite things with the uh, with the Slayer versus um versus a Raider is the... Uh, can I begin that? There we go. Is the 20% um, calling, calling strike. That is really powerful. Undervalued by other... I mean, it's just so nice. It didn't work on Kataba, though. I noticed that. Where he was at 20%, and he's, they're like, nope, you got to get him down to zero. And these three are going to pop. Done. And not only that, but I have these gloves on that explode more, more stuff. Ooh, it's a discernment? Really? How much is that worth now? It used to be worth a lot more. Uh, it dropped in price like five, six chaos now. It dropped in price a lot since the uh, update. Oh, a bunch of superiors. We'll take those and just craft up or vendor them for some stuff. We're actually, we have plenty of chaos, plenty. I even have a bunch of divines now as well. Um, go deeper, I guess. And, oh, we can spend another point. Where can I even spend this? I can't get more life that what is this is there some life here hey hey welcome good to see you hello i'll put a chat in there we're just knocking out some levels really, really fast and uh how's the voice levels um okay and welcome to the chat and welcome to the stream um we should spend a point here where can we spend it life life um defend against 120 percent of armor against Projectile tax, 5% more chance to evade. No, no, increase that. Every four seconds, get some immune to poison if helmet is higher than that. Immune to bleeding if that is... Uh, I don't even know what we can... I guess that for now. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix this. And away we go. I'm just slapping the points where we can because I'm getting points so fast. Oh, thanks. Oh, your English is fine. Perfect. Oh, easy. I don't know why that came up. That was weird. And normally you can't. I, I, I didn't think you could, you could access the map. I don't. I don't know what button I pushed. I went to push escape. No, that's not it. Hmm. Hey, welcome to the stream. And let's start this one up. We're at 438 million per hour and getting stronger and faster. We just hit maps a few a little bit ago and I wanted to grab a bunch of levels really fast and then continue in maps. And this is the um, Cyclone of Tumult uh, Slayer build with the step-by-step uh, -step walkthrough of, from every single level. One through 73 now, I think it is. And there'll be more episodes to um, explain what to do once you get into maps. We did the the first few maps and went into detail on that as well and let's go this way oh boy is there any way i can get... let's go this way it's a fun game though uh pretty relaxing and if you have any questions just let me know oh let's let that explode there we're moving pretty quick the aoe is massive it's about to get a little bit bigger just just for fun right now but i'm going to tweak the uh the build in between once the stream is done and get everything set and ready for the next episode because you know I'm just slapping points on because we're getting the level so quickly it's just crazy really easy to level down here and away we go come on pop there we go oh there's a question uh, let's go over here and I'll be able to a answer it um, it's a good game but somewhat frustrating when the builds don't work um, absolutely, I agree. Um, this build is um, a lot of fun, though. Um, I've done it with Raider, 
and with Slayer. And it's pretty pretty easy. Um, easy, fun stuff. I just like it a lot. And this guy, is, he, he can get even stronger. It's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's not bad at all. I don't play a lot of other builds. I don't play minion builds. I don't play bow or caster builds. I just do this. Hey, welcome to the stream. And do I have a bunch of stuff on me? A little bit. Let's dump it and jump right in there. We're at 433 million per hour. EXP per hour. Which is pretty good. And we're getting a lot of loot. What is that belt? Is that a belt? What is that? I haven't looked at... Rustic Sash. Feast Band. How much is that worth? Only one chaos. And let's go get some EXP. Um, right here. Oh, we'll gr grab this currency node. I love Psych. Okay, and your question or comment is, uh, you love Cyclone and your builds are peculiar to what it, it, are in other places. Yeah, um, I, this is my own, these are my own builds. I've never followed a build guide, but um, I think they work. They work really well. Oh, thanks. Good comment. Very cool. And I read the questions out loud because people watch these videos later, the live streams, and then they they don't know what I'm talking about, so I always try to repeat the question. Oh, there's another question. Is PoE cross-platform? It is. You can play it for free on Xbox, probably PlayStation as well. Um, a lot of stuff. Nice. And it's a free game. The only problem, um, if it when it's free, you only have these basic, I think it's four stash tabs. Um, they'll look like something like this and you get four of them, and it can fill up really fast. Um, I have a, a, cat, a currency node, or a currency tab. Um, otherwise, your currency will start to look like this. And I just put this over here during this playthrough, just to keep it separate. Um, so stash tabs make the game easier, but there's no pay to win in the game. You just, you just play the game, and you should be fine. Um, oh, let's, I gotta start it up. There we go. Yeah, for a free game, and I've done it, I've actually done a challenge where I don't get any, I, I started a brand new account and just played it on a brand new account, and it was very doable, I got into maps, I handled everything, I even made, uh, I even figured out how to buy and sell and get listed on the trade market um, without having a, a public stash tab, all that kind of stuff, it's really neat. Oh, there's some more questions, I'll get to them right in a second, I just got to steer my character through this not too much though let's see let's see if I can read those um, the stash tabs are not needed for the campaign through playthrough true yep I agree they're not needed I got into maps and I even did fairly well with my uh, <laughs> my four tabs that they give you for free um, I would say maybe this league they introduced all those scarabs it's gonna be really Arabs and all flames. It's gonna get a little trickier, <laughs> a lot trickier. But um, still, I think for uh, if you do the the first time buyer pack, you get um, quite a bit of points, and you can get a currency tab and map tab, and maybe one or two other tab, one tab, other ones. Um, and you should be good to go. It makes a big dent in it. I've been playing for years, so I've just buy tabs now and again. I'm bought a tab or anything for two or three years now. I've got plenty. Oh, and I'll get to that comment in a second. And welcome to the stream. Yep, and they have supporter packs at um, every league when that those come out. Those go for a lot. You can, I think, like 500 for a, like a top tier supporter pack. They sell a lot of them. But it's a free game and more power to them if they can sell those. That's great. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, nice. And how much EXP? We're slowing down a little bit. 423 million per hour. Let's go right back up here and I'll, I'll read the comments. The main thing is playing the campaign, trying different builds, whether a guide or not, is uh, have fun with it. True. Then if you want to get more into considering uh, getting the premium tabs. Yep, this is you could try the game out, have a good time with it. And if, it, if you don't like it, then I wouldn't suggest buying anything and you've, you've made it through the campaign and had fun or not. 
Uh, the supporter packs are always the best option. Never buy straight up points. Yep, I agree. I got my uh, son the Space Turtle pack. I saw that Space Turtle. I actually liked it. I saw it this uh, this league. I, I jumped into somebody's hideout and they had it. Let's jump up here. It does look really cool. Hey, welcome to the stream. Oh, and thank you for the like. Somebody popped up and there was a like there too. So that helps get the word out on Path of Exile because I think everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people just stream on um, Twitch. Very few people stream Path of Exile on YouTube. I'm not sure why they um, YouTube doesn't do a, a landing page like Twitch has where, you know, you, you land there, here's all the games that are being streamed into a cat you know into each category and then you click on the game and it shows you all the people streaming that one i just they have a few but they have a very limited number of games and i don't think path of exile is in their list at all it should be it's like a top 20 game on twitch all the time but on youtube they just don't have that kind of stuff and this is an easy build we just hit maps and i'm already doing a uh, level 81. Now granted, I grabbed a bunch of uh, gear from my other player, um, but even if I had my other gear on that I bought from leveling up without any help from anything, um, I think I was, I would say I'm about 30% weaker, so I would still be doing like a level 78 area, no problems. And instead of getting 417, I'd be getting about 350 million per hour. Do I have any hype for uh, PoE2? I, uh, my opinion on PoE2, uh, I'm going to play it. I'm going to have a blast at it. But I think it's going to be such a drastic change for everybody that it'll be popular, but I still think PoE1 is going to be the more popular game. Not at first. There, you know, A lot of people are just going to be trying. It's going to be crazy. But within six months, I think PoE1 will have at least as much or more player base and player retention and everything uh, than PoE 2. We'll see. Kind of like um, old school RuneScape taking over and being bigger than the, you know, the RuneScape 3 and all that. Ooh, and this guy should pop at 20%. It's just, um, this game has evolved over 10 years and it's hard for them to have that much content and that much depth to a game when you don't have 10 years of development in it. This is just a pretty deep game. And I'm very glad they separated the two because trying to keep the two as one would have been a logistical nightmare. I think the company will be bigger and stronger having PoE 1 and PoE 2, that's for sure. Hey, welcome to the stream and thank you for the like. Very cool. And we crossed over 2,000 subscribers last weekend. Which was amazing. I don't ever. Um, I I should. I I I should actually remind myself, but um, I should do what you know. Everybody on when they're making videos, they say, "Hey, um, if you can subscribe and all that kind of stuff." But in my uh, videos, I never do it. I never talk about it. Um, the old videos I did, but I just haven't talked about it for probably six months or a year. Um, I wonder if it would make a difference if more people would subscribe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I just have fun and make the videos and keep going. That's all I do. <laughs> Let's go deeper. Oh boy, I can go a lot deeper. Oh boy. Can I go? Oh, that beyond... That note is really hard. Um, Let's go off to the side this way. Um, Grinding Gear Games has done amazing. I agree, they have done really well. Hey, and welcome to this uh, stream, and thank you for the like. I appreciate it gets the word out on PoE on YouTube. Uh, your content is very wholesome and easy listening. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, I don't know if I, I intended not to uh, make it perfectly fr uh, family friendly, but I just um, it's just something I got into the habit. And um, it's a, uh, yeah, it's family friendly. I'll put it that way. I don't, I don't get mad and go crazy on it. Um, or sad. I try not to say bad things, <laughs> but it, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you could. I just, I just haven't. I've had a history of not doing that on this. And and I've never like 
figured is this better or worse to do that I, I just never did and continue to now away we go all right let's see what do we got here what do we have it took me a while to figure out the mic to get a better and better mic I tried probably four or five over the last year and all kinds of different settings and one evening I just sat down and re I've, I've done it multiple times but one evening I tried and messed with the settings messed with the settings and finally 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 it got the least bad <laughs> it used to be worse um, and then it got better but then um, it's oh, another level very cool what a, I don't even know what I'm spending on oh easy get out of there I don't even have my hand on the heel button I'm just steering around just pushing down both buttons and steering I should actually pay attention yeah we're in monster level 82 which is like a tier 15 PUE uh, skill tree is so intimidating um, I go over that briefly um, even I, I mentioned that when I was doing this leveling guide for this player for this for this player character and it is um, it, it, it's intimidating when you open it up and you see the whole thing but when it comes down to it you're actually only you only have two choices to begin with and then overall you're basically doing um, you're basically doing this um, if you're doing your own if you're not filled, following a build guide and I never have I don't play a lot of different <laughs> things so all you're doing is you're looking at this and you're saying okay we can go this way or this way when you start out and then I started looking at stuff like um, what I want to target well that's nice but I knew I wanted to target where was it I think I went for um, was it this one the vow skill first so I went right down here on this character I went shoop, right here right into there and I got the vow skill targets an additional enemy for Molten Strike to level on. Yep, Val Strike, yep. And it this thing, and that really makes it easy. And then you target the next thing and you know you, you find out what you want to do next. Oh, I wanted mana. And then I wanted to come down here and, and get um take care of mana. And then I backed out of all that stuff. And it was pretty cool. Pretty easy. And let's take this and dump this in here. And I walk them uh, and I walk everybody through it when I was doing the uh the playthrough every decision everything so that and i explain it too as i go along so it, it, i hope it was helpful for him everybody was saying it was so that we're watching it and what else can i do some more damage oh right here more aoe more damage <laughs> okay i'm just going nuts and let's see uh i want to go deeper is that an eight that's an 82 let's go there and we have so much sulfite to burn through and what level are we? 83 already. Nice. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm going to play uh, Helldivers. Have fun. Hey, have fun in there. I haven't tried that game, but it sounds fun. Have a good time. And thanks for stopping in. And away we go. Whoa. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I'm way off the course. I overshoot the... Uh, <laughs> I just want to keep going so fast. I overshoot the, um, what do you call it? The node. What build are you uh, trying? Um, and that was at Lee. PoE is an intimidating thing. Uh, uh, okay. So he's asking the other person what um, build they're trying. And... Let's see. Don't know what build he's trying. And here we go. But there's lots of um, uh, build guides online too that can really help you out if you're ever stuck with those kind of things. Let's go up this way. I wonder what, we're at 407 million per hour now. Let's see if we can get that number back up a little bit. We're at monster level 82. I probably have to go even deeper to monster level tier 16. We'll see. Whoa, turn around, go back up this way. And... Dynamite cash. Oh, we'll ignore it and keep going. Nice. Whoa. This thing, that mana degen thing that's around him, that mana field that 
drains your mana. It doesn't affect me at all because I don't use mana. In fact, I could probably put a, uh, another ore on there because that's just sitting there and not being used. I should be using that mana. And I'll take the Regal. Oh, I see the comment. I'll be right there. Ooh, almost died there. There was a lot of damage incoming there. Whatever that was. I can't be shocked. I can't be frozen. I can't be stunned. Um, I'm immune to corrupted blood. Ignites. Uh, sapped. Shocked. I'm immune to a lot of things. Oh, I see the comment. I'll be right with you. Just going to wrap this node up. Come on. Drop that on there. A lot of damp. This thing put, puts out a lot of damage, and it's fairly tanky. But the good thing is, I get a lot of ex or uh, health back per hit. That's why I'm staying alive down here. That's what's that's what's keeping me alive is the health per hit. I get 40 health per hit, and I'm doing three attacks per second in a massive area. And there's lots and lots of creatures to hit, and they heal me up. We'll take that and that and the courtyard map and that level this and let's hit this for safety and the question was uh uh let's see S uh this spin to win looks fun like a bar build from d3 absolutely yep um and if you look on the channel if you're ever interested in this there's a extremely detailed step-by-step -step guide that's 11 or 12 episodes long already that shows you every step and explains in detail, you know, how to how to go about spending every point and getting all the gear and everything. So it's really, really cool. It goes into into, into a lot of detail though. But if you're new, I would I would suggest you you're, you'll learn a lot from it. I don't uh, I just talk and talk and talk. <laughs> um what level is this? 82. There we go. And it's relaxing. Uh, this build is a uh, easy to play. I'm not pushing a lot of buttons. Um, and this is this I can get about four to five times stronger than this too um, Four to five times is, is within reach. I'll say that um, It's gonna depend on the weapon and if I decide to push ahead and really pump out some divines um, and and farm for those or Craft and make divines that way. There's quite a few different ways you can do it. Um, last league, it was great because I was down here in Delve and I was selling perfect fossils for three for a divine or four for a divine, and I was getting lots of perfect fossils. And I got about maybe ten. I sold about ten thousand resonators for three to four chaos each, but now the resonators are a 0.7 chaos per because of the um, the changes. How they did the uh, the all flame is actually the thing that did it. If the all flames are gone, gone next league, then the prices will shoot back up again and I'll make a ton of money again down here. But that hurt. <laughs> that definitely hurt. And away we go. We'll take this one. And I just like the build because it's easy to play. Um, not complicated. <laughs> um, easy to make a lot of levels. Um, we'll get up to level 90 really, really quickly. And at 90-ish, I'll start progressing more of the Atlas. I've already got a lot of it done. Um, but I have to also make some more episodes. I'm glad they nerfed the Essences. Um, uh, what, uh, as far as the Essence, I'm not sure what the, the nerf was to that. I know there's a lot of different strategies. There was... Um, I think the scarab got changed. The scarab, the scarab change was the big one. That was they were stacking a bunch of scarabs and getting a ton of rogue exiles and dropping a ton of divines that way. But they did do quite a few nerfs that were to, directly to the things that were just out of hand crazy. You know, that's the thing. People find out, figure out really, really neat ways to stack different uh, features together in the game, and you can scale things to crazy levels. But they they should have addressed they they I think they did, they needed to address it because it was really out of hand. I agree. Uh, we'll go over here. Oh, a thousand. Uh, they made it so you can't get high tier S. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, you gotta uh, instead of getting the yeah I remember that I know what you're talking about. You could get the uh, the really good essences in like a a white map 
Well, they changed it because you shouldn't be able to get the best best essences out of a white map. And that makes sense because people were the best strategy. You're right. They, were, they said to, you were supposed to run the lowest maps and that doesn't make any sense. So I'm not sure why that, they, that was in there for year, a year, more than a year, two years, a long time that was in there. And they finally changed it this this uh, this league. Um, I never I never farmed. Whoa! What is all this? Jeez, those guys are upset. Oh, we got a nice. Uh, I guess we'll take that and that. And whoa! I hate it when you're done with the zone here, or that node, and all of a sudden the little stragglers are over there poking at you. Those guys hit hard. And we'll go back to town real quick. Murmuring a oh, bunch of resonators. Oh, I see the comment. I'll be right there. Orb of Unmaking. That's my first one that I found on this character. All right, let's uh, stock this up. And the comment was, um, what are the best league start builds to get into delving? Hmm. Um, it depends if you kind of want to go super, super deep. There's very specific builds that you have to do, and they're expensive. But a league starter for this, I can delve as spin to win, and it's super easy, and you can go to about depth 400. You can go deeper, but about depth 400 is where you make a lot of profit, and you can go, you can get a lot done very quickly there. So you don't really need to go any deeper for profit. Um, but if you want to go deep just to have fun, there's very, very specific builds, not this at all. There's builds that are very tiny, tiny, very specific builds that can go that deep. It's just really, uh, it, it's really intense down there. It's just ridiculous. The creatures have billions of health. Um, lots and lots. It's just through the roof. It's really crazy. Um, and then, then stacking a tier one map with 20 essences, dropping into eight essence a pop. Yeah, that's what they were doing. I'm glad they changed that as well. Cyclone is decent in Delve, as you can see. Righteous Fire isn't bad. Yep, Righteous Fire. I haven't tried Righteous all these years. I haven't tried it, but Delve is very viable. I, I have multiple series where I'm diving into, into Delve as Cyclone, as a Raider, as Slayer, and you can do really well. And I really love Cyclone of Tumult. Um, it's, it's just amazing. It really, really is. Um, a lot of fun. And it does tons of damage and you can scale it up even higher so it's neat and um, the next question or comment is is that when the delve mods drop um, no it, as you go deeper um, more uh, the better fossils the better resonators drop and then also um, they uh, other uh, bosses start appearing more often right around the 400 level is a, a good sweet spot Anywhere from 300 to 400, maybe even up to 500. But then as you go deeper, it the, the it continues to scale up and scale up and scale up. But the rewards don't scale up as fast. Uh, well, if you ever do, check out uh, Fox. Yep, I've heard of Fox, um, his guide um, on Righteous Fire. Um, I just haven't tried it yet. But he is he's pretty much the guy when it comes to um, Righteous Fire. Certain things can only drop in delve. Absolutely. Like, um, let's. We haven't seen one. I've deeper down here. There'll there'll be certain like fire nodes, and you can get um, uh, curse on hit rings. All kinds of really specific things that are only found in delve that only have delve nodes. And there's bosses down here too. There's cities like something like this. Um, there's very specific things that you can get down here that's only from here. Map progression is great to do, especially since the season. You get two whole new atlases. It's amazing. I, what they've done with the atlas is really, really good. I really like it as well. I agree. Wholeheartedly. What are we up to? Ooh, 396 million per hour EXP. We're about to hit another level, too. This has been... The, I, I can't think... I really think that uh, leveling in Delve... I can't think of anything faster when you're once I hit maps and I just jumped in here I was doing at one point I was doing a billion exp per hour I just jumped into the first one and then once I hit levels then it you know it kind of smoothed out then I was in 
I was at 500 million and then 450 million. Now we're down to about 400 million. But I think if I went really, really fast right now, I could probably do 500 million per hour. But I'm not like doing super fast here. But I really concentrated. And that that's cool because then you can just you can knock out a lot of levels really fast, throw all the points wherever you want, and then just go right back into maps and just dominate everything. And yeah, I like it a lot. And it's relaxing too. Uh, for me, it this is just you know compared to maps or you have to. The other thing is you have to think a lot. This one, I don't have to think too much. <laughs> it's uh, pretty easy. And the build's easy, too, so I don't have to think. And it's easy. Um, it just meets my criteria. Move fast. Blow up big packs of stuff. Not have to think too much. Um, I'm not even doing the side areas. I should should be if I was trying to get more um, loot. But right now I'm just trying to, I'm focused on EXP. And it's infinite down here, so it doesn't matter. I, I'm not, like, running out of things, areas to go to down here. I can go infinitely horizontally or deep or anywhere. It doesn't matter. Pretty cool. The whole thing with PoE is play what you enjoy. Almost nothing in the game is forced on players. I agree. The only thing would be um, uh, the lab. Um, I still have to do my fourth lab. I haven't done it yet. I should go do it, but I'm just having too much fun doing this. But I'll do the fourth lab, and that'll be even more damage, and I'll do, be doing more crits. My crit rate will go even higher with this thing when it's on, and that's not even a good one. Um, let's see. Crit strike with it on. Let's see. 31%, and then even more on the first hit. You can get. I should get that up to 40 50% crit rate, which is nice. And I'm doing three hits a second. Four. Whew, it's fun. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, lab gets you uh, transfigured gems. Exceptional gems. Absolutely. Yep, I got a, a few uh, while I was leveling up. I got one worth 45 chaos. Um, but I bought this transfigured gem. I think I got one on one of my playthroughs. Actually, I think I got it in Solo Self Found. Um, I got a transfigured um, Cyclone of Tumult, which was really nice. The legendary, uh, oh, well, this is actually a bad node, and we're about to um, hit level. I don't want to die here. This is a really bad attack. That right there. I could die right now. Ooh, he traps you. Oh, that was close. That was, I really thought he was going to get me. Because um, he traps you, and, and you can't hit back. But I was, actually, my AoE was so big, it was actually still hitting him. But that's a dangerous guy there, that rain of arrows, whatever he does. It's not nice. Let's go right here. Come on. Oh, we'll open up these three. One second, I see the comment. And I'm just going to... I want to lock up this level. I shouldn't even... I, I'm opening these. I'm not even opening these things. Hey, welcome to the stream. And thanks for the like. Cool. Uh, the legendary uh, drop noise are, are pretty cool. Yep, that's from um, Never Sync uh, on Filter Blade. Dot XYZ. That's his. That's his filter that he he works on. He's, he does really great work on it. Oh, let's see if we can drop that. Let's. Oh, we'll bail out of there. We don't need that hidden loot. And let's just go fast. And let's see. The, I'm gonna try to take a look at the uptime on those flasks. Are they decent? They seem to be. Yeah, they're. Oh, in another level. Getting 400 million exp per hour. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Yeah, he does a lot of really good work. Wow, I wasn't paying attention there. Reading the, uh... Oh, I gotta start this. Reading chat on a different screen. Here we go. He is awesome, I agree. And let's find out what happens. Is this better than your my Raider version? Better. Um, I would say... I'm reluctant to say yes, but... I know why everybody plays. Um, I know why everybody plays Slayer instead of Raider. <laughs> I, I know why, and the answer is yes, it's better. Um, the speed is here's the thing: the speed is slower on this guy, a little slower, but it's adequate. And then the damage, especially even that really fun 
um, calling strike is just ridiculous. That 20% when it calls anything you hit at 20% or lo lower and it just blows it up. Um, <laughs> I would love to have that as a slayer. And then also um, the AOE right here is just really, really, really too, too nice to pass up. These two right here. 50 plus that, you're looking at, what is that? Uh, eight, 30, 82%, I think it works out to around there. 82% more AOE or AO increased. The accuracy is nice. The more damage. Yeah, it's just really nice. Um, I don't do the overleech. Um, I don't need to because I do um, the life on hit thing. Um, I go this route. Um, I could take some. Let's see if I can bring that up again. Um, I go this route for the uh, the fun uh, kill anything that's 20% or lower. And I'm probably going... I think overleech is up here. Cannot be stunned while leeching. That's kind of nice. But um, I'm going to go for this just for the extra power and damage and craziness. I'm just going for a fun build. So, Oh, and well, what are we going to spend? Uh, point... Where was I even spending points? Oh, right over here. Even more AoE just, just for fun <laughs> we shouldn't be doing it but oh well i'm gonna redo this um later later this evening and you know get more gear different and go from there here we go you can't take yep and i can't take fizz reflect and i only do physical damage so i don't do any chaos damage i don't do any uh, elemental damage so and I don't do any uh, leeching and my regen is not that big of a deal so literally and I don't spend mana there's almost no map mod that I care about at all um, I did I used to care about on um, Slayer um, or on Raider I used to care about the Fizz Reflect and that was about it this one takes care of that so I don't even have to read the map mods I just fire it up go it doesn't even matter I can't be stunned. Uh, I can't have any corrupted blood land on me on this character. It's, I'm immune to that. I'm immune to shock and ignite and fro I can't be frozen or chilled. <laughs> it's just nice. This build is is relaxing and fun. And I know why people. Uh, and I even said that. I've said that. I know why people play Slayer over Raider. But um, the speed on on Raider, I. I absolutely love and I can make this guy a little faster to almost be almost be enough competition but I think this is fast enough to for me yeah this is fast enough but I can get it a little faster and then it'll definitely be fast enough and away we go I mean I can get even my uh, my belt I've got a lot of work to do on that not a lot of work but I can get a way better belt I can get it um, corrupted uh, we can get Adorn Jewels, and we can get up to nine to 11,000, 12,000 health. Um, and then, then I can go even deeper and just not... It, you don't even have to worry hardly at all when you're, when you're... I've done that before, and it's a lot of fun. It's nice. Um, let's... Oh, can I go? I'll grab that one. What are we at EXP-wise? Let's see. 386. It's going down. I'm talking too much. <laughs> I don't mind, though. I like talking. And do you stream on TikTok as well? Nope, I don't uh, I don't have a TikTok account or anything like that. I don't even have a Twitch account. Um, I generally don't even stream at all. Uh, last week I started doing I did four or five nights in a row, and then um, I went to the, um, the Eclipse, so I couldn't stream that day. And then I started doing these bit whoa i saw that coming i saw that coming i didn't reach over fast enough oh it didn't matter we're right here um i started doing the uh very detailed build guide for this for new players and i was c pumping out so much content that um i really couldn't oh is that why i didn't that's why i didn't have i didn't have my precision on so now i even have more <laughs> crit I didn't have that running this whole time. I was wondering why I had so much mana. Interesting. And then now our crit is going to be 34%. Nice. Oh, welcome to the stream. And I didn't even know you could stream on TikTok. Yeah, I've never been on the website, I don't think. 
I mean, I've seen a TikTok on, you know, occasionally it'll, it'll come by on, I think on YouTube they come up sometimes. Uh, let's try this again. Oh boy. I, I saw it coming and I just, I didn't have my hand even, I wasn't even ready to heal. And let's see if we can do this. Come on. Here we go. All right. Let's see if we can do this correctly now. We have even more damage. And... Yeah, that was just... I, I saw that coming too. I was looking at it. Nope. <laughs> I reached for it. Way too slow. <laughs> oh, here we go. And... Oh, there he is again. Right over there. This guy. Uh, it wasn't him. It was a different one. But the size of that AoE is very impressive. If I do say my so, say so myself, and that and that's a big a uh, big a big thing that um, Raider doesn't have this extra extra AOE size. Although you don't need it quite this big. Uh, actually, it is nice to have right here because I'm reaching out and hitting all those things on the side. And I barely have to move. We'll drop a totem real quick, up our damage, and twenty percent call right there. Oh, and welcome to the stream. Oh, there's some purple stuff. It's going to explode. I don't know what my um, chaos resistance is. I'm guessing it's around zero. Easy. Let's see what it is. Defenses, minus nine. And I can get. I can do better than that. And... Oh, that's the one we were at. Let's go do that one. And what are we at? Level 84. I think we started at 78 or 77. This is just going really fast. I like it. And not too, it's not a ton to think about either. Pretty easy. I get a little too relaxed. I don't even have my hand anywhere near a, um, a heel. <laughs> and then bad things happen. Come on, explode. There we go. Yeah, I, I keep taking my hand off the keyboard and just steering around. I, I shouldn't do that, but I get a little too relaxed. Because it's not a, I don't press any buttons when I'm doing this. Generally. Until things go sideways, then I should press some buttons. And there, I pressed a button <laughs> for a totem. Oh, this is a triple, triple Azerite node, isn't it? So this is going to be a little more interesting. And they got that weird explosion thing going on. That was weird. I don't know what that was. Oh, we'll take that, whatever that item is. Greater Mana Flask. What is that? That is the Odiodras. And we'll take that, and those, and that, and that. We'll take that too. And away we go. Oh, we'll take that. It's small. And we could go find that area. It looks like it's going to be right here. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, it, it actually is. The, the way down is going to be right there. So we could work our way over there and just find it let's go let's dig that thing up well let's go find it just for fun should be right up like a few nodes away from here and let's go find it i haven't dug dug for one of those places in a while been just focused on exp and we'll blow this up anything back here jewelry and well yuck my download is ready. Wish me luck. Uh, thanks for streaming. I subscribed. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Good luck. Oh, so your uh, your download is ready. So you're just trying the game out. Uh, you're, you haven't even tried it before. I know you asked a question about um, what's good, but I didn't understand that you were uh, that you'd never played before, or or that you were um, maybe you were uh, trying it on a different platform. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna, there's a lot to do here. There's a lot to do when you're brand new at the game. There's, it's pretty amazing. A little overwhelming too when you open the skill tree. Um, but don't be too overwhelmed. There's only two choices to make at the very beginning. Two, one of two choices. <laughs> and um, as you progress, you're gonna have enough. It, if you learn how to make enough chaos, you'll be able to buy the regret orbs and undo any of the mistakes you make. So I wouldn't worry about it. And most people, they um, their first character is just a learning character anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. Ooh, duplicating Scarab there. Oh, come on. What, why are these things exploding still? Oh, it's this guy. There we go. And we'll take that and that. 
we'll take some of those. Why not? I shouldn't be picking those up. They're a waste of time because I've I can get a lot more. Oh, and there we go. Ten and three. We should be fine. And away we go. Oh boy, a lot of explosions there. And we're at 376 million per hour. It's starting to go down now. I could... I Maybe 400 million is within reach? Whoa, easy. Oh, I died too, that's why. I wonder why it went down a chunk. Um, after like level 60, I think 62-ish or something? I forget exactly when, but um, if you die, you get a 10% of your um, EXP of the total EXP for the level, it goes down. So, yeah. You just don't want to die when you're almost level. <laughs> so when you're, when you're within about three or four bars, you could do the less dangerous stuff and then secure your level and then do more dangerous stuff as you, um, <laughs> as you, <laughs> when you're just leveled. I think a lot of people do that. They're like, okay, I can do the crazy stuff and then they dial it back a little bit. Oh, easy. And we'll grab that ring. Why not? And I think it's going to be up there. The little shortcut secret path. Let's go find out. And it won't be out along here. It shouldn't be. Oh, wrong way. It's going to be up this way. And then around... Let's open this one up. We're going to hit another level really soon here. Probably seven minutes? Eight minutes? Maybe. Pretty easy, though. Whew. What level? 84? Not bad. This is, um... Yeah, I would highly suggest, um... Delving from, like, 70... Eight to 89-ish, 90. Easy, fast, EXP, simple. If you, could, if you can get away with it. Um, and then ju then jump back in and just crush your maps. And just, just instantly crush through them. It's just fun. But you can do maps either way. And we'll go up here. You can just level doing maps as well. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just this is really uh it felt it feels like you're um just flying along in, in levels when I'm doing this versus um leveling up through the campaign and everything it feels slower and then this feels like it uh just uh everything's on turbo mode which is cool and ooh, abandoned riches we'll do this and then we're going to find that hidden wall that should be over to the left area we'll find out I'll take a look at the map again. Hey, welcome to the uh, stream. Very cool. And I'll have more episodes out. Um, I'll probably drop one more episode in the um, the series for this guy, the super extra detailed build guide walkthrough. Of, whoa, get away from that thing. Chaos damage is not good ever. But right now it's... There's not tons of chaos damage down in Delve. That's another good thing. And then I would highly suggest using um, Purity of Elements in Delve as well, because it just makes you immune to so many things down here that it's worth it. I think it's worth it. And we'll take that. And anything in here? Four Chaos, I'll take it. And it's going to be like right... It's got to be like right in here, I think. Because this... Actually, it's going to be right down this way. So we're going to work over here. And it's going to be right down there. That's where the secret room is going to be. So we'll, we'll go to this, um, wherever this uh, node is, and then we'll peek away from that, and it should be there. Let's get away from that soul eater real quick. Oh, we'll open up this door. We might as well. What's back here? Oh, uh, resonator cache. Nice. Take them. I'd like the, the prime, not the prime, the, the chaotic, whatever it is, the, uh, the four ones. I forget. It's not Prime. It should be named Prime. The ones that are four, four socketed resonators. I think those still sell like for 50 chaos. We can, if we go deeper, we can get a lot of those as well. Oh, 
And we can level that gem up. And I'm just trying to get the EXP. Oh, let's get away from that Soul Eater. They're a pain. And here's the... Oh, there's a wall. That, that shouldn't be the wall for the way through. Let's go just open this up. And... We'll drop a torch right here. Oh, fossils. And easy. This guy wants to sneak attack me here. Fossil six serrated. Nice. I wonder what those sell for. I'm not sure what those sell for this league yet. And we'll light this up. And resonators. Primitive and potent. We'll find out what they sell for right over here in one second. Serrated. Probably, I don't even know. Let's find out. Let's just unlock this node, which is right over here, and then we'll find the secret passageway. Oh, oh, there, <laughs> that's the way to it, I think. We'll unlock this and then we'll be able to, oh, resonator, another resonator trove. I think that's gonna be a good one. Let's find out. Unlock that, unlock that, drop this here. We're gonna grab this flare. And... And let's go unlock this one. I can walk right through that stuff, it doesn't even matter. That blue thing that reduces your, um... Whoa, easy. <laughs> doesn't matter as I get hit by stuff, I can still take damage, I just can't take mana damage. And... Sealed box, this one. That's what I wanted. I knew it. I said it. I was like, the oh, I don't have space. Let's jump. Let's drop. None of this. Let's carefully walk back over here and jump right back in. I knew that was going to have one. I, was, I even said, I was like, I think this is going to have one of the, the good resonators. And we'll jump that in there. Hopefully we don't disconnect because it's just sitting there on the ground. Let's go pick it up. Holy cow, that was a lot of loot. Yeah, this actually adds up pretty fast. And then what's the price on this? I don't know what the price is on that. Oh, let's find out together. And an encrusted lockbox. Nice. Let's go. Let's just be safe and go right up here. Let's find out what it's worth right now. These are worth... In chaos... Ah, 25, 26, 27. They were up to 44... Maybe if we if we sell them in bulk, I think that was it. The bulk price, fifty. Yeah, I was getting forty four in bulk. So there's only one person that has eleven of these right now. So I can sell these for forty, uh, forty chaos each. Nice. And oh, I wanted to check the serrated price too. We got six of those fossils serrated. And let's try, check the bulk price of those. Looks like two or three per. So that was like 15 to 18 chaos plus that another 40. So 60, 70 chaos in that little stretch. Pretty cool. And and not to mention all this other weird stuff too and all the other stuff. <laughs> all right. So let's grab this and we're going to break open that wall. How much azurite do we have? A ton I wonder how much the uh, resonators are going for right now. In bulk, 89 of them. Bulk price, yeah, right down at 0.7 again. But we could buy a ton of these resonators. Purchase. I could buy... Looks like... Let's see how many we can buy. Uh, sh it should be able to shift by them. There we go. Can I do it like that? No. I can buy 10 at a time like this. And let's see. It's not letting me buy in bulk, like just shift click them. So right here, we just bought, we had all that Azure, right? And how many is that? 93, 100 of them. So that's 70 chaos right there. Not bad. Bye. Quick 70 chaos, little less than half a divine. Control click. I, I was pressing it. Let's see if it works. Oh, purchase. Not sell. Purchase. Yeah, it's only. Let me let me put these away just to see if it it works again. Control click. 
and then purchase control click yeah it's only giving me one and then shift click doesn't do it yeah control click was only giving me one at a time i wanted like a stack of 10 weird oh well, now we got 200 of these <laughs> oh well we can get more and i wanted to open this up so i think it's down i think the way through is down here so let's go peek around and find out i'll take those 13 of those I have probably way too many. And let's light this up. Is there a wall right here? No wall there. What? This shouldn't be like this. Let's just put a dynamite down there and see if it breaks through. Maybe. Um. Oh, just speedy singles. Okay. Let's see if it broke through that. No. That's weird. I've never seen a wall like that down there. Let's see if it's over here then might be like over here um it, i guess it technically could be even further over here but i usually that should have been the spot for it i guess it could technically be here no very strange i'm just curious about where it is or why it's that way it's not that way but it should be here. This is a middle of the road node in the middle of the road without any junctions on it. So it should, I mean, this really should be it. And it kind of looks like it goes through there, but I dropped some dynamite and nothing here. Usually there'd be a, a wall to break there. Very weird. And I guess we'll go over here for a second and see what happens and maybe reset it. And hey, welcome to the stream and and welcome to the stream let's go see if we can reset the that that area i'm just trying to break through that wall and it's, i've never seen anything like that before where it, you know that that doesn't make sense it's it's showing on there now i'll go back over there and see what happens very strange let's open this thing up and we're getting well we were getting 400 million an hour EXP, but I've been talking and checking things out, so that went down. Hey, welcome to the stream. Very cool. This is the uh, Cyclone Slayer guy, Cyclone of Tumult, and um, it's the one I just leveled up in that series, that episode series, so um, I just hit maps, and now I'm at 84 because I, I come in here and it, it's so much EXP per hour in here. It's ridiculous. And it's easy, safe. Um, yeah, we're about to hit a level again. Nice. I don't even know what to spend all the points on. I, I was spending them so quick, I was just throwing them in there anywhere. I, I know what I should be but uh, spending them on, but i got to kind of design it a little better. Oh, we'll take that. Of a scent. Very cool. And let's go here. And I guess we could go back here and peek down there, or we can go over here. I don't know. That's very strange. I've never seen it where it's, it didn't... It made a wall like that. It was bizarre. I guess no, it's really no big deal. It just threw me off. I was like, that's kind of weird. Okay, let's keep going. And let's go find out. Let's just nail this next thing out. Oh. <laughs> We're moving so fast, those things can't even keep up with us. He's trying to get me. <laughs> there it goes. And let's begin the encounter. Easy stuff. Oh, I should probably have a hand near a heal button. And done. And just wiping these guys out. There's never really anything good in these. I guess we'll take that. And let's just go deeper. Very strange. That's where it should be right there. I'm going to go peek one more time. Come on. Hey, welcome to the stream. And it should be right here. Oh, it, they changed it. It changed a little bit. Good. And is it over here? Is it down here? No. Come on. We'll find it. It could be over this way. and Otherwise, I'll just give up. Yeah. It's just... I think it's just bugged out. Oh, well. Let's do, uh, go this and just jump back in this way. Very strange. 
I've never seen it like that. I've done a lot of these delves and I never saw it do that. And we'll jump right back into the delve and we'll just go deeper and get more. I, let's reset the EXP per hour. It's at 361, but we've been talking and, you know, doing other stuff. So let's see if we can get that number back up higher. Let's find out if we can. Maybe not. Let's see where we can go deeper, though. Oh, we can go deeper right here. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Moment of truth. I'm going to reset it right now. It's at zero now. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what, how much EXP per hour at this level we can get. And we have nine flares and nine flares and some dynamites we really don't need. Oh, there's some pure, I guess I'll take that pure azurite sitting right there in front of my face. But we're focused on EXP instead of anything else. And let's get all that. Nice. I guess we can open these. I'll take those Crusader boots. They might have a good fracture on them. And we'll grab this next. And let's see what, after this, we'll see what we're at. After this node, this node. It's not going to be very accurate because it's only two nodes worth, but we'll see what happens. And let's start it up. Where is it? There it is. And let's see how much we get out of this one. And this is a tier 15 now. We're at depth, uh, monster level 83. So, or not tier 16, not 15. And and we just hit maps a little while ago. And we're just flying through levels down here. Let's, oh, hey, welcome to the stream. And welcome to the stream, two more people. A lot of people are, not very many people uh, do Path of Exile on YouTube, so. Um, but not very many people. And let's see what we got here. Come on. Oh boy. And look how much EXP per hour now. Come on. 658 million. Can we keep that? Can we keep that number going? Yeah, without dying to these things around us. 658 million. This is a long one. Let's see how much we can get out of this. Oh boy. I don't think we can keep 658 million going. It'll be interesting. I don't know if I can. 500 million is doable, but 650 million? Yeesh. Let's find out. It would be neat to see if um, if I set up a character that, you know, just hit maps and came in here with just decked out gear and really prepared for it, like super prepared to see how well I could do. I bet you could push a million EXP per hour. Or I'm sorry, a million, a billion per hour. Which is, I think that's a lot. <laughs> and, oh, this is the thing right over here. And we're going to just light it up, go into here, start it up. Oh, this guy's going to be tough. Oh, no, he's not. And let's find out what the number is after this node. This is a lo this was a long node to get here, though, so I'm guessing it went down. We'll see. I'm not even going to spend that point because I don't want to take the time to figure out where to put it. Um, And I don't really need any damage things yet, so oh, let's kill this guy. He's a pain. This one right here, but he's going to pop at 20%. Oh, looking good. Thank you. We'll see what the number is, though. And... Oh, boy. I guess we should technically take a couple things, but not really. And we're at 645 million still. Let's go down here. Oh, we're going deeper, too. This is good. Maybe we can get up to 7 mil 700 million? Come on. 700 million that would be really good for us right now really good this is for solo too nothing fancy nothing crazy no special scarabs no shrines no special atlas this is just go <laughs> go and delve kill stuff fast <laughs> and and hopefully not die and let's see what happens come on and this character just hit maps a second ago, but I did grab some of my gear um, from my other character, which helps by about 30%. 599, we're going backwards. I shouldn't be picking up all this stuff. Let's grab this one. 
stop picking up stuff. It's slowing me down. Ugh, <laughs> oh, come on, he's going, he's moving slow too. There, there he goes. Now he's gonna speed up. And should be right over here. The Del Bl <laughs> Del Blender build. Yep. <laughs> uh, gonna play now. And oh, one second. I'll read the comment in a second. It says gonna play now. Uh, looks stronger than I would uh, what I what I have now. Oh, cool. Yeah, this this uh, there's actually um, a whole series, a, a very detailed series with Pass Path of Building, um, explaining how to build this. It's not a build. There's no build guide for this, but um, like on a website. But the uh, series I do on this is very easy and very. De I don't even have my uh, fourth ascendancy. I should be. <laughs> I haven't bothered with it. I just get maps, so I was like, I'll just come down here and smash through this stuff. And if I had my fourth ascendancy, I think I would be even doing better. Well, I would be. I know I would be. And I just threw on Vengeance with Life Gain on hit and <laughs> Life Leech just <laughs> just for extra fun. I didn't need it. You don't need very much for this, this build to work down here. That's the neat thing. You don't need much at all. And 605 million. Let's go. Let's go deeper. We're gonna about to hit another level. Hey, welcome to the stream. Just messing around, seeing how much uh, EXP we can pump out per hour as fast as possible. <laughs> we'll see. And, oh, yeah, you tried to watch that, but uh, was too detailed for me. Uh, I'll try to copy it anyways. Um, I do have other builds that are way less detailed <laughs> and less uh, um, serious that are, um, but it's a Slayer, uh, I'm sorry, a Raider, thing but basically it's the same build um except this one has raider it's the same build I, I use the same points the only difference with raider is i did i do a little bit i go into um the frenzy nodes on the tree right down on the south south part of the tree um this one i haven't gone into that at all yet i may but i uh, as of now i haven't done it i haven't needed to i haven't i don't even have my next ascendancy done I can't wait if I do that. Oh, I see you over there trying to hit me and these guys. And let's go here or there. Oh, that we got, we're gonna get that fossil. Let's go do it. Yeah, that the series that I just put out and I've been doing all the episodes are very detailed, meant for players that are brand new to the game and they're just gonna play along and casually follow along and really um, take it slow. Not for play, not for players that um have played for a long time <laughs> at all because I really go into detail and explain every little nuance and I try to at least and come on let's get the number up oh I guess we'll bust through here oh I see the comment I'll get to it in one second oh nothing good back here jewelry is not good and come on Eesh, those guys are a little chunky. I don't know why they're not popping. But, oh well. I'm guessing we're at 580 million after this. This feels not, like, really, really good right here. I'm going to guess 580 million once we hit the node. We were at 600 million, but it's hard to sustain that right here. Come on. Oh, back this way. This is a long node, too. This isn't good. Oh. One second, I'll read the comment. Um, actually, I wasn't before I wasn't paying attention to the screen, uh, to the game, and now I'm paying more attention. I'm trying to go as fast as possible here. Come on. Oh, and back this way. Where is this node? Finally. Here we go. And let's light it up. Um, this should be an easy one. Yes, it is. Nothing complicated. Easy. Easy. Oh, and this guy trying... Oh, this was the bad one with the uh, Rain of Arrows. Easy. Tried to get me there right at the end. Bow claw. I'll take that. 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 And I think we need some of... No, we don't. Let's go up here next, and we're at 555 million. Darn it. I was trying for 600 million. Hey, welcome to the stream, and welcome to the stream. And thanks for the like. I appreciate it. 
We're just messing around, just trying to get as much EXP per hour. And leveling really quick. I'm about to hit another level if I don't die. As long as I pay attention, I shouldn't. Come on, wrong way. Right when I say pay attention, I steer the wrong way. Popping these guys, come on. And this is essentially like the tier 16, you know, creatures. It's monster level 83. And we just hit maps. But for me, I just hit maps just a bit ago. And then I was doing this. When I came in here first, I was getting 1 billion EXP per hour. Because I'd already, you know, I'd already un unlocked a pretty deep dev uh, delve depth. So I just jumped into a really hard one and destroyed it. <laughs> and it was going crazy with the EXP. It was like, it felt like, like maybe four minutes for a level. It was funny. But now it's back to normality. Here we go. Oh god, I gotta pay attention here. Come on. Yeah, this character is still not built correctly. I just, you know, I've just been flying, not barely paying attention to anything, so... It needs a lot of tweaks, and there's so much to improve on him, so... He'll get a lot stronger than this. But it's strong enough to do what it needs to do right now. And... I'm going to guess 572 million per hour after we pop this guy right here. Pop him. Come on. Jeez. Pop. Let's do a totem. That'll help us. And, oh, and a level. Nice. We got two points to spend. I don't even want to slow down to spend them. Uh, 547. We're still doing over 500 million. Half a billion. And why did I pick that up? There was no... Oh, easy. Oh, I see the comment. And let's go this way, and we're going to grab that fossil. Uh, hey, dude, I've been following you. Found the ranger, got to level 40, tried to follow the guide, and had to restart again today. Level 63 so far, and following you so whenever you're ready to put out points. I've got, I've got five uh, to put out points. Uh, you've got five points. Um... Me and a gaming buddy, we're going to watch and build from your series. Thanks for all those, and nice to see you in action here. Hey, I appreciate it. Very cool. Um, the build guide that I just did with the Slayer build Cyclone is extreme. I, I decided to go... What happened was um, I was doing the Raider builds uh, series, not a, really a build guide, and people um, were asking questions. They were getting stuck. They were like, hey, I just... Um, I just hit maps. I don't have any. I don't have any money, and I don't know how to do. I don't have any chaos, and I, I don't know what to do next. Um, I'm getting stuck, and I'm getting killed, and or, or different levels. There, uh, I'm level 78. And I can't do anything. I'm level 90, and I don't know what to do next. So what I decided was to make a series and show people step by step at every level what they can do to get through there smoothly and explain it in super detail. So if you're at if you're at let's say you're at level 52 and you don't know what to do, well, um, you just go to the series for that guy, click on the 51 level 52 to 53 or 49 to 51, and it'll say, hey, buy a terminus est uh, for one or two chaos if you can, and you'll be in good shape, and it'll it'll make it super easy. And not only that, but we show you how to get those chaos i was getting i think by the time i hit maps without any help from my other characters at all easy this guy's trying to kill me i had over 200 chaos and i'd spent um i'd spent probably 60 60 to 80 chaos on the build itself while i was leveling so it was really really easy holy cow i've got all this stuff oh and what are we at 525 million um, and then the other question, I'm smashing it, bro. It's brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, cool. Very cool. I'm glad you guys are, uh, having good luck with that or good luck, uh, having luck with that. I'm just having a, a good time and I like, um, uh, sharing what I think about the game as I play it and then, and then helping people, uh, go through things. We're going to dump all this in here just because it's a lot easier. I don't want to go through it on a stream. Oh boy. That's a lot of stuff. Interesting turquoise amulet, all kinds of loot. And let's go right back in and get this fossil. This is what I really want. 
And what was it? Let's see. It might be a, like a delve specific fossil. Let's see. Fungal haunted tomb. Um, it should be. Let's see. There's like fire fossils that can have. There's vulnerability. Like if you can find a physical node down here and get a, um, a vulnerability curse on hit type ring. Those things are really nice. I found a few of them down here, but um, I'm not too deep right now. So if I can go deeper, then you can find a lot of nodes that. The frequency of the good nodes starts to appear more often. Oh, this guy's actually tough. I gotta pay attention to him. Let's light this up. I'm gonna drop a bunch of uh, uh, dynamites. Oh, easy. Let's take care of that guy and then this guy. Yeah, I'm, I was being a little too complacent there. And come on, easy. He almost got me. And now we'll start. Oh, gosh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, boy. I don't remember this. Uh, this Oh, this fight is interesting. Yikes. Like a little mini boss thing. It shouldn't be bad, though, right? I don't think it's... Oh, there's a Soul Eater somewhere down here. Soul Eaters aren't as bad as they were... They nerfed them this, this league, so... It's better. Interact with the tomb. Tangled Fossil. That's not good. I don't think it's worth much at all. Nope. And... Let's keep going. Let's find some better fossils. And... We should be able to find some really nice... Oh, there's some currency down here. But this is kind of a dead end. Um, anything over here? That's a good one. That would be really good. Chaos item. Let's see if we can break that out. It should be... Where would the walk... It wouldn't be here. It wouldn't be there. Um, I'm guessing maybe over here. I really want to break that out. That could be a good curse on hit ring in there. A very specific item. Let's see. Let's go see if we can find it. That would be worth it if we can nail it. Affliction League. Uh, you got a wrecked by triple wisp. Um, even this league, if you uh, uh, inject the... Uh, the affliction mods on the creatures those uh the creatures and maps it, it, they can get really tough i think it's with the omens it's one of those things one of the all flames or something they can get really really tough they get like three or four times more tanky i'm like geez and that was the the affliction league was uh you could you can run into some really tanky mobs and ripping they can really uh tear you apart but uh, I liked the league last league. I liked it a lot. I like this this league. No problems with it. I'm glad they uh, made the adjustments that they did, and they made them quickly. Um, happy with everything. And oh, let's fire this up. We got points to spend and levels to hit. What are we at? I'm guessing 500 million, 478 million. I'm talking too much. I'm not paying attention. Oh well. If I if I went I think if I went all out, probably I could only get maybe like five hundred and fifty million per hour. They did so good with the adjustments to Necropolis, I agree, they did really well. And um they can still do some more work. I'm surprised they're doing work still. I'm guessing maybe we'll be lucky to uh Oh, I'll take the offering. Actually I need one of those. I, I still haven't done my ascendancy. We're still uh we're still only with three. I could be doing way better. And oh no, it's there's a it's not there's no easy way over. Oh, but this one, that's the one. Let's get. It. Oh, and it's not. There's no way over that way. They baited me. I guess we'll go. I guess we'll go this way then. <laughs> We're gonna get that. We gotta get that. Um, that fire one. I think it's gonna be a flat flammability or flame on the curse on hit with flame i think it's flame of flammability on hit curse i don't know what the name of the curse is but it's a fire one and we should get a usually i get about two rings with it on there each time i do it so let's see if that's the case um usually i was getting that a little deeper so maybe the it won't be as good but we'll see i definitely want to get it but as you can tell the deeper you go the more frequent the cool nodes start to appear in Delve. 
There's bosses down here to do. There's cities and to explore. There's all kinds of stuff. But the really, you can get some really divine worthy drops down here. And a lot of people don't come down here. So it's all like last week I was making so much loot. And this league, we'll see what happens. Um, we're going to have to go all the way around here and down. Let's do it. Flammability, yeah. Flammability, uh, curse on hit, yeah. I knew it was, I was like, flame on hit? No, flammability on hit. <laughs> and, and we're getting tons of EXP, so, and it's relaxing. I died that one time because I didn't even have my hand on the keyboard. I was just steering around like this, and I saw the problem coming, and I did not reach for my heal button very quick enough. I don't even have very good um, healing potions. I don't have my fourth uh, flask automated. And those are just all automated flasks. I just And they're not even good ones. But there's so much to improve on this character. I like that. I like that there's a lot to improve and it's not super difficult. Um, so that's it gives me hope for this character. <laughs> I've got, I mean, I think we can make them three to four times stronger easily. Um, weapon wise, I know the weapon costs are going through the roof right now, but um, we might be able to do it. We might be able to pull it off. Last time I spent two to three hundred divine on the build on one of these. A, easy, easy. That guy wanted to. Well, let's see, the fundamental fossils. Let's get three. Two in a resonator. Yeah, that wasn't that good. And let's keep going. Come on. I don't even need these points at this point. I don't need the points to spend down there, those passive points. I'll, I'll use them, but I mean, I just don't need them right now. I don't even need my fourth ascendancy right now. Nice. And, oh, easy get out of that. Immune to corrupted blood, immune to um, frozen, chilled, shocked. I can't be stunned. Um, I can't be ignited. I can't be sapped. Um, regular bleeds, um, I remove those automatically with the uh, automation thing with uh, this right here. I'll show you. Um, we'll take that and that and this. We'll go right here where it's safe. This is all automated right here with this. And it uses life tap, so it changes it from mana to health. And it automates steel skin, which does that 2,000 point barrier, 2,200 point. And then it removes any bleeds and makes me immune to bleeds automatically too. So I, I haven't died to a bleed ever with this character with this thing on here. And then it also automates phase run and withering step, which speeds me up. It's really nice. I love that setup. I'm probably going to automate. So I just stuck that on there for now. That shouldn't. I, I'm just leveling it up. Um, I'm going to automate um, a another thing on there. So it'll be four autom automated sh automations on there. And I might even level up the automate gem as well. If that helps. I'm not sure yet. And we want to get to the fire. Oh, wow. We're going to have two fire items. Fire items. This is going to be nice. And some gems right there. Very nice. Here we go. Um, eight and two. I should have grabbed some more uh, uh, dynamite and flares, but oh well. We'll grab them right over here after this one. We don't really technically need them. I should get um, up my carrying capacity of both, though. Sometimes even um, throwing dynamite on creatures actually helps down here. Things get out of hand pretty quick. Yeah, let's find out. Oh, we're, we're only at depth 163, too. I can go so much deeper in here. Hey, welcome to the stream. And we were at 550, then 512 uh, million EXP per hour, but I've been messing around. And what are we at now? 443 per hour. We should be. We should hit the next level very quickly, though. Let's hit this. And level that up. And away we go. And the Cyclone, I'm only leveling that up in the offhand to um, 
transfigure it. That way it'll, it takes the level of whatever it is as well. Might get a good one and sell it for 40 to 50, maybe even 100 chaos. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, and I need to go pick up the the uh, flares. And some more dynamite, just in case. And we're okay space-wise, because I haven't been picking up much loot. Let's find out what we get. There's two of those, so we've got to get a curse on hit um, item uh, ring out of here. And I just hope it rolls with some good stats. Maybe some life and resist. I'd be, I'd be happy with that. Come on. That guy wants to explode and get me. And... Nice. Okay. And I think there's one guy straggling right there. Let's go right over here. Buy that. If you shift click, you can just buy in bulk right at the, all at once. And that's where the items are. So let's go get them. Come on. We're tr trying to go over there and get them quickly, but it's... Uh, come on. Here we go. Let's get moving. And, and... I'll try to ignore everything on the sides. But then right then, I mean, I... I want to ignore it, but it's too tempting. That's why there's 50 chaos, just like that. I sell them in bulk, probably for about 45 chaos per, which is good. Oh, bestiary, we'll ignore that. That's why I don't ignore those things, especially if we go deeper. We're going to get, we're going to start to get a lot of those prime resonators, and it's just an easy 50 chaos. I think I can sell them for 49 per. That's what the current bulk seller is selling them for. The loot compels you. <laughs> it does compel me. I can't help it. I'm like, I want to go faster. And then I, right when I said that, I saw the uh, the wall on the side. I'm like, I got a peek in there. Too tempting. And then, of course, we get the uh, Prime Resonator. Um, perfect Fossils, last league. Four of them for a Divine. Three of them for a div Divine was really nice when I was selling in bulk because they were using the perfect fossils on their maps to make them 30 quality. That's how crazy it was last league. I don't think they're doing that this league. Um, I'm not sure why or why not, but um, it, it's it's okay, I guess. I mean, I would like for them to do it. <laughs> it was nice. And it's a long run. Here we go. I'll take that alchemy. I'll take the transmute. I don't know why. Just have it. Hey, welcome to the stream. We're shooting over here for to grab some uh, flammability on hit rings. I know that this node will... Ha There's two nodes right next to each other, which is... I don't think I've ever seen two fire items. Uh, oh, we'll drop this and blast our way in here. And... Oh, I'll take the instilling orbs. I actually need those because I'm going to craft some of those and make nice profit. You can craft... Um, certain flasks and spend very little and make five, six, seven divine off of a, uh, a single craft, a single flask now. I was doing that last league and you can do it this league as well. Oh no, I walked right into that. Oh, and we were right at level two. Here we go. I can recoup from that, no problem. And let's buy that. That and... I can re I can recover. Doesn't even, when we're making this much EXP per hour, a little setback like that doesn't make a big deal. And we'll put all that away. That's a lot of loot already. Let's do this and do it correctly. Oh, we're actually using up our sulfite. Do I have? I have a. I can I can recover all that sulf sulfite in one map. So uh, let's do this correctly and. I don't, I, I just ran into something there. I, I mean, I was paying attention. I wasn't, uh, I just got smashed. I can address that. Normally, if I, if I pay more attention to the build, but we're just flying through everything and just throwing points in there. And is this the right way? I, I feel like this is too short. Is this the same node? I don't feel like it is. I don't know why, but I don't feel like it is. Easy. And let's find out. 
It doesn't feel like the same node, or a, even a similar node, so I don't know. Um, we'll find out in a second. Have you been to any Tier 17s? Are they insane? Um, I've heard they're insane, but I, oddly enough, this this season, um, it's been a weird season for me, or league for me, because um, I, I, I get to about level 90, 92, and then I tried solo self-found, and I got to level 92 in that, and then I came back over here, and then I did a brand new series right after that with this guy up to level almost, I'll, I'll, he'll be up to 90 in a second, so I haven't pushed into the deeper stuff. I've been re-leveling and recording episodes that way, so I haven't got to see that stuff yet. I will, um, but I just haven't seen it yet. I don't know why that node changed severely. Usually it's like a similar-ish node, but that wasn't the case this time. Oh, we're going to hit a level right now. No problems. Let's do it. And, yeah, this, this guy feels a little slower than I'd want him to be. I'll get him to go faster. And... We'll go around this way. Drop a totem. Smash that guy. Oh, here's a tough guy over here. We'll even drop a flare just in case he makes it dark over here gone and there's a bunch of guys over here we'll drop another flare and just take care of these side stragglers this guy is a pain yeesh okay let's do it oh so i had no so the question is no i've not been into the tier 17s but um only because i've been whoa uh leveling a bunch of uh three times now <laughs> and i took a day off or two days off and did the um the total solar eclipse thing. So I went to the part where it was in totality and it was extremely amazing. I've been, I've seen other eclipses and they're cool, but unless you do the, the full total eclipse, it's a hundred times better. It's simply amazing. I was, a, it, it, I was, it was astounding. Oh, another level. It was super cool. And when it happens, you can take your uh, special glasses off and you just look right at it because it's just a, a, a ring up there in the sky and it's not too bright to look at but then within five seconds of the sun of the moon moving a little bit all of a sudden um it's back to full full brightness and uh, you can't even look at it with your eyes again you have to do the uh special glasses again it was really really cool all the street lights came on and it, it was it was nighttime you couldn't see people that you could see 20 feet away you couldn't see him anymore it was really amazing and it was a lot to do to pull off but um and it was only lasted three minutes and 50 seconds but it was extremely worth it um i didn't know it was going to be that cool i thought it was going to be cool but not that cool um so yep that that put some downtime into the oh, the game oh Let's take those guys out. So we locked in our next level, and now the the um, the next two nodes are going to have the fossil nodes. The moon uses a righteous fire build. It, it was. It looked like that. It was like that. Well, it looked kind of like this. It was so cool. And then um, the diamond ring thing appears right afterwards on the way in and on the way out. It's really cool, and you can see some solar flares. Just by looking at it with your eyes, you can see the solar flares. Um... And and it and you're if you use the the glasses you can't see anything it's so dark during the actual total eclipse but the partial eclipse part you have to use the glasses otherwise you can't see you can't see anything all right moment of truth here we fought all the way down here for these two nodes and we're gonna get curse on hit the flammability out of one of these some rings we got to do it let's do it. And no messing up. Let's find out. Oh, easy. Almost messed up right away. It shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't be too too hard. I I have I, I have like seventy eight. Oh, a pristine fossil. Take it. And I'm gonna ignore everything else. I'm just going for the thing. This is actually a a. It gets kind of weird. Sometimes the fight gets pretty. Oh. No, it's not bad. Sometimes there's a weird fire boss that is part of it. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. And I haven't looked yet. I haven't looked. And in here. 
Oh, nope. Let's go back to the town and look in safety. Okay. Did we get the, um, the rings? Here's some rings. And we got the fire leech. We got uh, converted to flame and curse right there. We got one finally. Um, what else came on it? 28 resist. Could it actually put um, prefix? Oh, we could actually put life on there. It could actually also exalt slam it. So it has one open spot. This is pretty good, actually. Uh, what else? Uh, low hit, low, low roll on some of that. But let's see what it turns out to be. If we get this, um, that stuff doesn't matter. Uh, item level that and search. Only five chaos, but it's actually it's better than that because there's um, things open, a slot open, a prefix for life. Not bad. Not bad. And then we get another shot too. We get this one. There's the delve mod on that one. Um, what about this one? One second. There we go. And let's take a look. This one, 4% reduced fire damage. And this one, that might be good for like a righteous fire build or something. And then this one. So we got one of them. But not very good but it's worth something and then um let's go to the next one i'm gonna put these in here and deal with them later let's see if we can get a better roll oh we got a bronze thing there and i'll take a deeper dive into those later but right now let's take another one well right here is the thing so let's do it oh and i gotta bring up the chat there we go here we go let's go grab another set I've never seen two um, two nodes right next to each other like that down here. Nice. And it's going to be a different kind of fight, though. The different fire node. There's smoldering. Smoldering. And yeah, this is one where we actually have to start the fight. I think it's like the fire tornado one. I'm guessing. Let's find out. And... Yeah, this is the fire torn. Oh, this could be worse than that. This this could actually I could actually die here. It could get out of hand. It gets bad, I think. Well, maybe not. Let's see. It gets progressively worse and worse. And oh, welcome to the stream. Uh, he's not bad. Oh, this wasn't bad at all. I guess deeper down it gets worse. Here we go. Three more rings. We'll look at those in a second, and not that item, but it doesn't really matter. And helmet, helmet, gauntlet. Uh, geez, that guy just tried. Oh, this guy's terrible. Scorch fossil. Let's get out of here. Yikes. Drop that. Bail out. Whew, that guy was mean. Oh, yeah, he was worse than anything else in there. Oh, and I just wanted to go here. There we go. Let's take a look at these items. Uh, Ignite. That's not that great. 10% physical. It's the special delve mod. And this one, 10% of hits as that. And if we just do this and search, not that. But this is the item. These are the items that matter. Uh, Nope. Not on, that, not on that one. Not on that one. And not on that one. So we got one curse on hit. That thing was crazy. So not real big luck. I think when I'm deeper uh, around depth 400, I was getting really good rolls on those and I was finding a lot more down there. So I think it was better. We were better off down there and finding the stuff there at that level. At 83, at depth 163, it wasn't that good. Well, or I just got unlucky. But there we go. Not bad. And... Let's grab that node right here. This was a good one. Nice. Let's give it a shot here. I think I'm okay. There, there. This is all set up correctly. Yes. Just had to double check everything. <laughs> I don't, don't want to have it something set incorrectly. 
Uh, superior? I'll just leave it. I don't care. And... We'll just keep going. Come on. Oh, right here. We can turn around and check back there in a second. And let's fire it up. Easy. I thought I hit it. There. That guy's tough, too, right here. Look at him. He's really taking... But he pops at 20%. Very cool. And let's see what we got out of this one. So this is... I just think this is really nice. It's relaxing. It's not too crazy or hectic. Um, we can get stronger, and as we do, we'll, we'll, we still only have 3,800 health. We can get a lot more health, and it just makes it even more relaxing. Our damage will go up. We'll be in good shape. And this one. Oh, this is a triple node. This is a triple azurite node. So I was like, why is this, why is this still going on? <laughs> there we go, and... We're making decent um, chaos per hour, and I'm not... Whoa! It's getting a little glitchy on my mouse movement there. And how much azurite? Oh, 1,200. Not bad. And we'll take that and that and some betrayal scarabs and salt... Oh, we actually needed that, right? Oh, is that the one? No. There's one that we can improve the salt light. Phew, that was a lot. And let's dive up here. What was that? Was there a special one right here? No, I thought that was a special like lightning one. There's going to be a lot more down here. A lot of a lot of good stuff. I have all these points to spend. Um, what else? Whew. <laughs> that was, uh, it was relaxing, but I was I had to pay attention there a lot. So I think at this point I should take a break and um, yeah, I've, been, I've made so many episodes today that I, <laughs> I've been playing a lot. So I'll take a break and if anybody has any questions, just go ahead and comment down below. Thank you for the like. I appreciate it. I just saw it pop up and I appreciate everybody in chat. I like uh, answering questions and comments and having a good time with this. I have fun with it. I hope you enjoy the game as well and everybody have a really good night and a good week and have a good one. Take it easy, everybody. And thank you all. Have fun. Have fun. Very cool. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy.